welcome Holly and Devin to 700 Club Canada. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, it's really a delight to meet you both via Zoom here because you're both what I'm going to say multi in Canada. Like you guys have done so many things. And Holly, we'll start with you. You're a radio host. Um, you're now station manager at Face Strong Today, or that's soon to happen. And tell us a little bit about what led you going down the path of media that you've been on. Yeah, that's actually a really great question as it started way back in high school. Um, we had a program called Career Life Management, and we had to interview people to figure out what we wanted to do with the rest of our lives in grade 10, of course. Um, and my Great. neighbor happened to work in radio. And so I thought, well, that's fun. I love music. I talked way too much as it was. Uh, and so I literally walked next door and said, hey, can I come to work with you at some point? And he said, yes. And honestly, at that moment, when I saw what he did and just the positive impact that he was having just with the listeners, getting a feel for being at a radio station, it just was something that I thought would be a really incredible career to have. Fast forward to, you know, 2021, it's been over 20 years and it's been an incredible experience. Well, you're out in Edmonton, and uh, I'm sure it's cold there right now, but you've been, you know, co-hosting co a morning show, Shine FM, for a while now, and, and it is really rewarding experience, isn't it, to know that you've been touching people's lives um, with music and stories, and, and, you know, Devin, you're the founder of Gospel Connections, and tell us a little bit how that started. It's quite an interesting story. Yes, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, Gospel Connection, it's it's been over uh, 14 years now, and it actually began, and it's so good that we're in Black History Month right now, because it began in Toronto the year, I'm not sure if you remember, but the year of the guns, you know, that was 2006, yes. where you know, um, the the stigma of black kids and the stereotypical, you know, sayings of, you know, young black men within the city of Toronto, um, that they were killing each other. And my story began by, you know, guys, we are not all the same. And I decided to take my <laughs> crazy self and I wrote, I, in high school, I just wrote the media. I wrote as many of them and I said, guys, we're all not the same. We we all don't, we're not carrying guns. We're not all carrying bats. We're not all carrying knives. And I think it is very important that we look at the positive youth within the city of Toronto. And I sent that little letter out. And the next morning, my face was on the front page of Metro, Toronto Star. The sun wow. wrote me up. Um, so many news outlets. And I literally took it for, for granted. And that's when I came up with the name Positive Intro Promotions. And that is promoting the positivity within our young people in the city of Toronto. And that was just the beginning of... Where am I today? <laughs> That's so amazing. I love this story. Your mom was afraid to put you on the bus for school that morning. Was well, that what you told me? <laughs> Listen, my mom, the, the morning, you know, my phone rang. The, well, it was house, house phone, you know, rang. And everybody was calling my mom. And she it was like, you know, your son is on the front page of Metro. That's, you're talking about millions of readers on the subway right. station. Right. And... You know, I am speaking against, you know, gangs and, you know, black, you know, behaviors and, you know, the, 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 the media that's bashing a lot of black um, kids. What would that do to you, son? You're heading yeah, on the subway. Yeah. You know, you got to watch your back. You're not going to school this morning. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know what, Devon? I'm so glad you wrote that paper. Don't you think you could even write that today? It's just an amazing message and such an important message. Here we are in Black History Month. So I, I, we're going to pick up again. I'm going to hear more from you, Devon. But Holly, tell me, what does Black History Month mean to you? Black History Month means to me an incredible celebration of Black culture. I've heard the saying, quite a few times that Black history is also Canadian history. And I feel as someone growing up, um, 
most of the stories that we heard, you know, when you're in your social classes was about the white part of history, which is fine, but having that balance and not really knowing the contributions that the black community offered was definitely a huge miss, you know, growing up now and seeing more about how there's such rich black heritage. There's black Canadians whose families extend 400 years and it's just incredible. And these are stories that need to be told. So for me, Black History Month is about celebration. It's about learning and it's about taking that posture of how do we move forward in a healthier way with more unity. That's so good, Holly. And I agree, like Black history is Canadian history. And I think this is the wake up call to many people and a reminder. Um, Devon, you kind of answered this already, what Black History Month means to you, but you can you can elaborate on that, but also share with us a little of your personal uh, experience, perhaps on racism and injustice in your own life. Well, for me, you know, it's very important, you know, as a father of three, a newborn um, as well. And, you know, it is a time, it's like, I consider it as a birthday celebration. You know, it's that one time you can celebrate life every single day. And many people says, you know, I'm celebrating, you know, why is it only one month to celebrate Black history? We should celebrate it every day. It's like your birthday. You should celebrate life every day. So guess what? I believe and I think it's that one time we can stop, we can think, we can learn, we can educate and then pass on to like my kids, you know, that information. Because a lot of times um, in terms of for myself, I have not personally, you know, been racially profiled, you know, that I might think, you know, I, I tend to yeah. look at... Yeah everything on the positive side but it is important for me to let my kids understand why we are here today because it was never like this you know uh 30 years ago or 40 years ago so how did we get here today that is my job you know to help and to educate my kids and then they can also pass on that information to their kids. But if we tend to not have that one time to understand, educate, and, you know, translate, you know, that message, then it would all disappear. So that is why I think it is very important that we have that one time that we can really stop, think, listen, mm -hmm. and learn, and then educate. Well, they, that is so true. And we're going to be right back with more learning and listening with Holly and Devon. Stay tuned.